is Daniel Weafi, aka the House Flipping Ninja. What's up, Brittany? Contahista. How are y'all doing? Start harding it up as y'all come on board. Brian Parker is in the house. Be me. The Arts of Realty, Mr. Remy from Washington, D.C. has joined. And Miss Sharonda. Hi. How are y'all doing? Kate Dumpson. What up, what Hi. up, what up? What's Hi. going on, Brian? Hi, people. How you feeling? C. Robin. Hi, people. in the house. And Sir William. Daddy. Peak Mindset. Minister Chris. Hi, people. You want to say hi to everybody? Hi. Yeah, you got to stop bumping my arm. This okay. is my periscope holding arm. What are you guys Trick doing today? Trick is keeping me away from the scope. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, it's kind of dark over here. I thought I'd have more light in here. Let me see if I can get some more light here. All right, here, come on this side of me, Mel. Okay. Yay. Hey, 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 hey. What's up, what's up, what's up? How are y'all doing? Y'all doing good? All right. Let me stand up. It's like we're in a low-budget movie. The light is so bad up in here. All right. Hey, man, you can't hang on me like that. All right, Millionaire First, how are you doing? You found the paperwork that we talked about. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I feel like we're in a low-budget movie. Like, we ain't got no light up in here. Let me move on over to the to the lights. So, yeah, you got to stop hanging on me. So, hey, what I want you guys to do is I want you, hey, hey you better stop sitting on there before you fall down and break your leg. Daddy. Uh-huh. You know, I'm not taking you to the emergency room tonight. She said, uh, very, very low budget. Yeah. Oh, chocolate, yeah, you know, chocolate on the uh, dim lights. So look, I got my low budget shirt on too. <laughs> but it's all good, it's all good. So look, Russian Mafia is watching. All right, so look, what I want everybody to do is I want you to invite your Periscope followers, okay? Um, I'm going to reveal some uh, pretty good stuff about six-figure businesses that I've created. I'm 36 years old, and by from the mid-20s, I created four six-figure businesses, okay? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick out one random person from this Periscope to uh, win a free 30-minute coaching session with me, okay? And so on the free coaching session that we're going to have, we're going to discuss your business, we're going to discuss marketing, we're going to discuss uh, a plan, and uh, just make sure that we have you solidified, okay? So, um, look, it's going to be some good stuff. Invite your followers, invite your Periscope people, your YouTube people, uh, Twitter. I don't care who it is. Invite your dog, your cat, next door neighbor. I don't care who it is, all right? So, look, I've already given out three free coaching sessions to people, all right, in the past three days. So, I've given out, um, uh, on day one, I gave out a free coaching session to Rafael Juarez, all right? He's Growing Entrepreneur. That's his handle. I gave out a free coaching session to Allpreneur, all right? That's Al from Florida. I gave out a free coaching session to uh, Take a Jill Pill. That's her coaching, uh, uh, her Periscope handle. And then uh, yesterday, I gave out a free coaching session to uh, Sharonda Hill. And her Periscope handle is at SNHill00, okay? And I'm going to give out one more free uh, coaching session today, all right? Yeah, right there. Sharonda just uh, put her... Uh, uh, Put your little cats out there. So look, I'm going to give out one more free uh, coaching session today, okay? Uh, but I'm going to pick somebody at random who invites their Periscope followers to win it, all right? So uh, take a second, a second and a half, and uh, you want a hug? All right, I'll give you a hug. Uh, I'll give you a little Periscope hug. There you go, Dever Jamal. <laughs> all right, so look. The first three co uh, six-figure businesses that I had was, number one, in my mid-20s, uh, he said I smell good. Thank you. The first coaching uh, uh, six-figure business I had back in my mid-20s was internet marketing, affiliate marketing. I had uh, started off when I had uh, declared bankruptcy. I jumped into that business. I had very horrible, bad credit, okay? Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. My credit couldn't get it. My money was funny. My change was strange. My cash was trash, all right? But I took a little $300 bad credit card, and I used that, and I flipped that where within six, um, no, within seven months, you guys, I was making between sixty to eighty thousand dollars a month revenue. Okay, I was promoting stuff like green tones, payday off, uh, payday loan offers, dating offers. Okay, and I basically ran that business for about a year and a half, two years. Okay, and I made an incredible amount of money. All right, 
Now, um, because of different uh, uh, changes, all right, because of different changes with the advertiser that I was using, I could not do that business any longer, all right? So for the next two years after that, I was looking for a good business that I could do, okay? A business that would generate me a ton of money. Because once you make that type of money in your mid-20s, you cannot, and I'll repeat, you cannot go back to working a job. That sucks. That's like the end of life. It's like you failed a life if you go back to working a job after that, okay? So what I did after that was um, uh, two years I spent looking for the next big thing, looking for a business that would support myself and my family, okay? Luckily enough, I had saved enough money uh, where I paid out virtually all of our debts and I had saved a ton of money, all right? Second uh, six-figure business that I created, second uh, $100,000 business I created, what's up, Chris Amaro from New Jersey, was a document preparation business, okay? And I specialize in preparing uh, divorce documents, okay? And um, basically, I was selling the divorce documents for $199 a pop, okay? And I started that in Oklahoma. When I moved to Las Vegas, I continued that, okay? And it grew exponentially when I moved to Las Vegas, okay? Because um, I was able to uh, create a website and sell my uh, product for $199 to $1,299, okay? And we got to a point, you guys, where we were making twenty-five dollars to $30,000 a month revenue, okay? Now, that all was not coming into my pocket, all right? I wish it was, but it wasn't, okay? So uh, we had employees, we had contractors, we had expenses, you know, we have court fees to pay, but still, it's a good chunk of change, all right? And so it's gotten to a point where I have uh, a partner and she's pretty much uh, running the business and we have employees running it, okay? That's my second uh, $100,000 business. Third $100,000 business was real estate, wholesaling, okay? I did fix and flips, okay? I jumped off into that uh, in my uh, early 30s, all right? I was able to get out there, generate five to $10,000 per flip, per wholesale deal, and all I would do was go in, I would put people's uh, beat up old ugly houses under contract for one price, let's say $30,000, and I would flip that to a cash buyer for $40,000, a higher price, okay? And I would make the money in between, okay? $10,000, okay? That led to me putting up YouTube videos explaining how I flip, uh, flip the houses, okay? And you can find those uh, videos if you go to YouTube. Hey, what's up, Mr. Diamond? Claude Diamond from San Diego, the man with the master plan. So look, that led me, you guys, to uh, posting up these great, awesome tutorial videos on uh, YouTube, right? And um, we got a ton of uh, followers, okay? And like one thing led to another, and we got approached by producers, okay? The producer said, hey, um, we like you, we like your wife, we want you guys on TV, okay? One thing led to another, we got a show on HGTV called Flipping the Heartland, okay? Looky here, looky here. Periscope didn't like what I had to say, did they? I got booted off. <laughs> I got booted off. I got plum booted off. So welcome, welcome back, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Contract Flipper. All right, Mike Buckles, Brian Parker. It happens. Yeah, it does. All right. So, uh, D. Wuta. Yeah. So anyways, coaching business, you guys. Hey, Michael Buckles. Back. Back to the facts. Yeah. All right. So look, with coaching, you guys. You had to, and yeah, thank you for your hearts and your love. I appreciate it, you guys. And uh, surprisingly, nobody has called me the N-word yet. <laughs> but look, uh, what's the fourth? The fourth is coaching business, Sharonda. All right? And so with a coaching business, you guys, uh, <laughs> you have to realize that everybody has expertise, okay? Everybody has expertise within them. You, Each of you. Looky here, looky here. 
Periscope didn't like what I had to say, did they? I got booted off. <laughs> I got booted off. I got plum booted off. So welcome, welcome back, everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, Contract Flipper. All right, Mike Buckles, Brian Parker. It happens. Yeah, it does. All right. So, uh, D. Wuta. Yeah. So, anyways, coaching business, you guys. Hey, Michael Buckles. Back. Back to the facts. Yeah. All right. So, look. With coaching, you guys, you have to, and yeah, thank you for your hearts and your love. I appreciate it, you guys. And uh, surprisingly, nobody has called me the N-word yet. <laughs> but look, uh, what's the fourth? The fourth is coaching business, Sharonda. All right. And so with a coaching business, you guys, uh, <laughs> you have to realize that everybody has expertise, okay? Everybody has expertise within them. You, Each of you has specialized knowledge which can help somebody get to a place that he or she wants to get at in life, okay? But you have to be able to realize it and you have to be able to uh, uh, go ahead and build something around it, all right? And somebody said that's where uh, people make money. Exactly. How much money do you need to start? 100K? No, you don't, okay? You just need the education, okay? And you just need a good platform. And Contract Flipper says, I'm going to start coaching immediately after my first deal. <laughs> well, you may want to get a little bit more experience after that. But, uh, <laughs> so look, as long as, <laughs> that was funny, Contract Flipper. He's actually one of my students. So look, with, uh, <laughs> what's up, Dewuta? So look, um, with uh, coaching, you guys, you have to realize that people will pay you good money for what you have inside of you, okay? People will typically pay you money, alrighty? Uh, YouTube, how much did I make from there? I use YouTube as a form of marketing. So people see my YouTube videos and they actually come to my website, they apply to my coaching program, or they see my videos in specialized uh, businesses that I have and they go to my website, all right? So look, uh, coaching, thank you. Thank you for the love, Titan. Bam! There it goes! Yes, I love you. Everybody say, Raging Pimpin. Good job, Raging Pimpin. You did it. You did it. You scum bucket, you. <laughs> so look, with coaching programs, you guys, you have to realize that um, people will typically pay you good money. I do flip houses. People will pay you good money if you're teaching them how to make money, number one. If you're teaching them how to get relationships, all right? Or if you're teaching them how to get healthy, all right? So if you formulate your coaching program around health, wealth, or relationships, people will pay you all types of money, okay? As long as you're good in it, okay? Now, don't be like the scumbucket who uh, posted that comment a few minutes ago. He knows nothing, you know? You have to have some type of expertise, okay? Uh, the show is on HGTV to the lady who had uh, asked about it, all right? Uh, thank you, Brian. So look, you have to be a expert, okay, in your field, all right? Now, if you're an expert in your field, you can go to places, and how you doing, Aunt Pam? You can go to places like uh, kajabi.com, all right? You can go to places like clickfunnels.com, and they have platforms which allow you to create videos which are training people how to do whatever it is that you're uh, doing. Uh, no, I'm not uh, filming for HGTV. We're on hiatus. You can set up your program on those systems, right? And then when people come to those uh, to that website on Kajabi or Teachable.com or ClickFunnels.com, your videos are there. Your videos are training them, okay? So it's taking them from step A to step B, okay? So let's say you're a personal trainer and you want to take somebody from, um, yeah, I do do webinars. Webinars are a big thing of what I do uh, in coaching, okay? So... When people come to your uh, your website that has your video training on it on there, right? They're getting the teaching, they're getting the learning. You're taking them from point A to point Z on accomplishing a goal. All right. So that's going to be one aspect of your coaching program is a video instruction. All right. The second portion of your coaching uh, coaching program should be you should have a private Facebook group. Okay. Have a private Facebook group where you get all of your students in there. Okay. And then they, you basically form a community, okay? And then everybody is learning from each other, okay? People ask questions, right? And then you answer the questions on the private Facebook group. And then everybody learns. Everybody has community, okay? Um, when one person does a deal, like let's say in my coaching academy, right? It's at houseflippingdojo.com. Houseflippingdojo.com, okay? When people are in my academy, right now I have about 55 students, okay? There is a community in there, okay? When people see each other do deals or get deals on a contract, 
then it's an encouragement to each other, okay? People are like, wow, I can do this, okay? When people have problems, you know, then they can support each other, all right? It's like therapy, all right? And so basically you foster community through the private Facebook group, okay? And then another aspect that you can do uh, with your coaching program is have live group coaching calls once a week, okay? And you can do that through a conference call line, okay? You can go to places like freeconferencecall.com, freeconferencecall.com, and set up a free uh, live conference line, okay, where people dial in, they can dial a code, and they can be in on the line, and then you can actually record the call, okay, at freeconferencecall.com. Uh, I'm sorry, it's freeconferencecalling.com, okay? And then another aspect that you can do, um, and I believe it's freeconferencecalling.com, okay? I'm getting excited. And make sure you guys invite your Periscope followers because I'm going to give a free 30-minute session, coaching session to, to one of you uh, lucky Periscope watchers. And then the last thing that you can do for your uh, coaching program that you can get set up, all right, is you can have one-on-one -on -one aspects to it, okay? So if you have higher paying uh, coaching students, you can do one-on-one -on -one calls with them where you uh, relegate it to 15 minutes or 30 minutes and uh, you basically coach them, okay? So what do we have here in our coaching program and what are we giving to people? Number one, we're giving them video training instruction, okay? You do that through uh, sites like uh, teachable.com, uh, clickfunnels.com, kajabi.com, that's K A J. ABI.com. What's up, Rock? It's all good in the hood. You do that through places like um, uh, ClickFunnels.com, okay? Video training, that's number one. Number two is you have a private Facebook group so you can foster community, so you can have group coaching, so you can make your coaching program more efficient, okay? Bam! There goes the second one, you son of a gun. Get off my scope, you bastard. Boom! Oh, wow. You did a double time. I love it. See, the racists that come on my scopes, usually they can't spell, right? So usually they spell uh, the N-word with one G, all right? And I'm like, man, dude, if you're going to be a racist, learn how to spell, you know? Please, learn how to spell. It got two Gs in it, not one G. You sucker. That's why <laughs> That's why you ain't going to make no money. That's why you still live at your mama's house, all right? That's why you still living on government cheese. Bam. Learn how to spell. All right, so look, back to the track, all right? So you have your uh, your coaching program, right? So uh, you have the video training on Teachable or ClickBanks or whatever, right? Uh, sorry, Aunt Pam, I'm getting a little bit excited. You have the uh, <laughs> the private Facebook group, all right? You have the uh, the group coaching calls that you do once a week, all right? You can do that through uh, freeconferencecalling.com, all right? And then fourth, you have the uh, the one-on-one -on -one calls, okay? Now, when you are, yeah, right, <laughs> that's what, is, what it is, uh, Diane. And so, look, when you, uh, <laughs> you, you are funny, Chris, when you have your coaching program, you have to decide how much you're going to charge people, okay? Remember that you are the prize. Your education, your knowledge, you are the prize, okay? Do not undersell yourself. Do not underprice yourself, okay? I don't care what you're selling, whether you're selling real estate coaching, whether you're teaching people how to lose weight, whether you're teaching people how to pick up women, whether you're teaching people how to start a, a document business, whether you're teaching people how to do, um, uh, I don't know, give me some ideas, you know, whether you're teaching people how to uh, uh, do whatever it is, okay? People will uh, pay for specialized education that is within the health, wealth, or relationship niche, okay? Health, wealth, relationships. They'll pay you big money, okay? Don't be like I was when I first started coaching, okay? When I first started coaching about uh, four years ago or three years ago, I believe it was. Uh, thank you, Mike Buckles. I appreciate it. And you guys remember, share this with your Periscope followers, Twitter followers. Share this on Facebook. Man, it is killer, all right? So look, when I first started a few years ago, I made the mistake of underpricing my services, okay? I did not... Uh, view myself as a prize, okay? I view myself as a as a as a commodity, all right, which was bad, okay. And I was only charging people forty seven ninety seven dollars a month, okay, which sucks, okay. So I had a bunch of people that uh, joined my coaching program, right? There you go. Don't sell yourself short, like Pam said, and know your value, like Michael Buckle said, all right. When I first started, okay, I yeah, you should have jumped back on there uh, back then, Chris. When I first started, you guys. I only charged 47 bucks a month, okay? And what happened was, number one, after about two months of it, I was unhappy. And number two, like 15, 20, 30% of the people 
they couldn't pay the next $47 a month, all right? Yeah, I'm totally lying. Can't you see my nose growing? <laughs> so look, like, I jumped out of it, you guys, and I stopped doing coaching, okay? And so when I jumped back into doing coaching late fall time, all right, I just, I went through some training. I paid big money, you know, I paid some thousands of dollars to get trained in the right way on how to coach and how to set up my business, okay? That's why it's very important for you to get a mentor when you're trying to do, uh, trying to do big, huge things, all right? That changed my mindset towards the whole coaching business, okay? And so now when I charge for coaching, I don't charge any less than $3,000 for coaching, okay? I charge right now between $3,000 to $6,000 a pop, okay? And that price is going to go up, okay? Because at the end of the day, I value myself as a um, mentor. I value myself as a person who has something to give to the world, okay? Now, I have a ton of free videos out there on YouTube. I have free eBooks. I have a bunch of free content. I do these scopes, you know, on a, probably three, four times a week, okay? That, these scopes, you know, for somebody who is just wanting free information, that's good enough for you, Okay? But if you want to get a Corvette, you want to drive a Corvette, you got to pay the Corvette prices, okay? So don't try to sell your Corvette coaching for Ford Pinto prices, okay? I'm going to say that again. Don't try to sh uh, sell your uh, Ferrari product for Ford Pinto prices, okay? And y'all know Ford Pinos, they're raggedy cars. They blew up if you got into a little fender bender, you know? Don't do it. Don't undervalue it, okay? Sell for what you're worth, okay? Nobody in here, what do I drive? I drive three Lexuses. We got a uh, uh, Lexus GX470, two of them, and then we have a Lexus uh, RX300 or 330, whatever it's called. And then I have a Mitsubishi Eclipse in my garage. Uh, the Miami Mastermind ain't 3K, it's 6K. No, it's actually cheaper. It's actually going to be uh, 497 for one person and then uh, 697 for two people. So, uh, more details on that. We're going to have Chris Chico speaking in Fort Lauderdale at our event. Myself and Ray Mabry, we have the House Flipping Summit. We're going to have some awesome speakers down there. It's going to be sweet. So, uh, more details on that later. But, um, look, do not sell your coaching services for any less than $1,000, okay? Try to sell it for $2,000, but absolutely no less than $1,000, okay? Um, he said, am I hiring? Unfortunately, I'm not. Um, I'm going to get more on hiring employees later on, on uh, why you should and should not hire employees. But um, look, at the end of the day, you guys, people will pay you for what you're worth. And at the end of the day, when you have people that are paying you higher amounts of money, you're going to get better quality people, okay? When you get uh, somebody who is only paying you, let's say, 47 bucks a month or 97 bucks a month, and that's it, when you get people like that into your coaching program, they are going to want and expect the world from you, okay? And if you don't give them the world, they're going to diss you. They're going to make your life miserable, all right? So at the end of the day, you might as well charge people what you're worth, okay? Whether it's $1,000, $2,000, $5,000, $10,000 for coaching, okay? Because the people that you get when you charge higher prices are better quality people, and they're going to actually respect the knowledge that you give them, okay? And they're actually going to use the knowledge that you give them, okay? And then they're going to respect your time, okay? My students that I have on board of my academy, they respect my time. They are, like, the only people that come into my coaching academies are people that I actually like, okay? If I don't like you, number one, you're not going to get in my coaching academy, okay? Um, and then it, number two, if you don't have money, you're not going to get into my coaching academy either. But most importantly, I got to be able to like you, okay? You have to be the type of person where... I would want to hang out with you on a Friday night for you to be in my coaching academy, okay? Because I don't want to spend the next three to six months with people that suck, okay? That suck the living life out of me, okay? And you should do the same as well, okay? Life is too short, all right? So charge what you're worth. Use a payment processor like Stripe.com, okay? Now, you can use PayPal.com, but the only problem with PayPal.com, you guys, is that um, you can't typically... You can charge higher dollar amounts for your coaching, but sometimes they'll freeze your account, okay? And that's happened to me where PayPal has free, uh, frozen my account uh, before in the past. And thank you for inviting your followers, Chris. Uh, so what questions do you guys have on coaching? I feel like I've been talking too much. I talked till my lips got ashy and my mouth got dry. <laughs> Sharonda said, yep, PayPal does that. 
They will freeze your money in a heartbeat and lock it up for six months. Happened to me about uh, nine years ago. I was very pissed. They locked up. Is a house flipping dojo a one-time payment or monthly? It is actually a one-time payment. So I'm doing my coaching packages for 3K to 6K. Uh, I missed what you said, Sharonda. So sh sorry, these comments were appearing and disappearing quickly. So ask me questions. F. Yes. Did you lose the money when PayPal did that? I did not lose the money, uh, Titan, but they locked up my money. I think back then I had maybe about 7,000 bucks or 8,000 uh, bucks that was locked up, all right? And back then, like, I needed the money, all right? Back then, I, I seriously needed the money, and that was pretty devastating to me when they locked it up for uh, six to, uh, I think it was six months. So, um, but yeah. At the end of the day, you guys, you know, um, keep asking your questions. At the end of the day, you guys, you need to uh, be able to add value if you do want to jump into coaching, okay? The way you advertise your coaching business is do periscopes like I'm doing right now, okay? All these periscopes that I do, the best type of uh, periscopes I upload to YouTube. Uh, Witty Kitty says, what type of coaching do you do? I do coaching where I'm an expert at, okay? So in wholesaling, I do uh, coaching, wholesaling real estate, I do coaching, right? And then I'm also going to roll out a program where I'm teaching people how to actually set up their funnels and how to set up their businesses so that they can get high ticket uh, coaching clients as well. So that's another uh, uh, realm or niche that I'm an expert in, okay? But as long as you guys have an expertise in health, wealth, or relationships, you can uh, uh, do it. So uh, Brian Johnson from Omaha, Nebraska says, what's the payment processing company? Uh, use Stripe.com, okay? Stripe.com, okay? And you can go ahead and process payments, $10,000 through uh, credit cards, and they will, not, they will not say anything. They will let it come through, okay? Now, you're going to want to use a shopping cart with uh, uh, Stripe.com. So you're going to want to get SamCart.com. And they cost $99 a month. But it's well worth it, okay? So um, use SamCart and Stripe.com together in conjunction for your uh, coaching, okay? And so, um, I mean, look, I mean, even, I, I, I don't like to throw numbers out there, but I mean, uh, even in the past uh, 10 days, I've generated about $18,000 in fees that have rolled in through my Stripe account, okay? So, I mean, this stuff is real, you guys. And marketing, you guys, when you market your coaching business, Use Periscopes. Uh, what are your thoughts on charging for a local meetup and sharing your information? That is a great question, Aunt Pam. Uh, you can do that uh, depending on what you're in. So Aunt Pam, she's a uh, wholesaler, real estate um, investor out in Houston, Texas, okay? So what I would recommend to somebody like her is to use the meetup.com as a area to get people in that will be your bird dogs, okay? People that will go in... Uh, and um, go out throughout the city and find you deals, Pam, right? And so for that, I would say make it a low ticket uh, price for them. So charge them maybe 99 bucks or 197 or even do it for free, okay? Because at the end of the day, you want numbers, okay? And uh, give them like uh, two or three coaching packages. Give them like uh, one cheap coaching package where they're your bird dogs for like 97 bucks, okay? And then give them another coaching package where you charge them, let's say, 997 and then give them like a big baller package where you're charging them 5K, okay? And so obviously, the more money you charge them, the more you're giving them, all right? Uh, Chris said, have you forged ties with people that don't flip houses, but rather flip businesses? I have not. I know that there's a gentleman named uh, Mike Warren, uh, Chris, that uh, uh, flips businesses. And I've seen his stuff. Uh, it seems really, really good. It seems really, really good, all right? So yeah, so marketing your, um, uh, thank you for inviting your followers uh, Remy. So look, marketing, use, you can use Facebook ads. Um, I do not teach mostly family investing, but that's also uh, a good niche to get into. So um, yeah, Abdullah, you, you kind of made it ethnic right there, didn't you? All right, cool. So look, um, when you're marketing your, uh, your coaching business, use Facebook posts, Facebook ads, YouTube, Periscope, meetup.com, Twitter, Twitter ads, okay? You want to be sociable, okay? When people uh, see 
uh, your life. They see what you're doing. They see you flipping houses. They see you making money in your business. They see you giving out good, solid, rock, solid content. They're going to want to follow you. They're going to want to get coaching from you, okay? When um, Another thing that I do, you guys, is I use webinars, okay? I record webinars that are about um, uh, 60 to 75 minutes long, okay? I teach some pretty stellar information, okay? And then I use a company called StealthSeminar.com, StealthSeminar.com, okay? And it auto-plays my webinar, okay? And people will join in the webinar, they see the webinar, and they're sold, okay? They're like, wow, okay, number one, Daniel knows his stuff. Number two, Daniel taught me stuff that people charge me, like, people have charged me 5000 bucks for, okay? So I've had people on my webinars, they go through my webinar, and they say that, hey, this is stuff that I learned when I took a $10,000 course somewhere else, okay? I get free information that goes really, really deep, okay? And basically what that does is it pre-sells me as the authority in my field, okay? So when people come to my webpage, okay, houseflippingdojo.com uh, slash apply, they're ready to move. They're ready to invest with me because they know that I'm going to get them to the promised land, okay? And that's what you want to do as well, okay? Uh, create a webinar, okay, for yourself, okay, which pre-sells you. It uh, basically gives people some good, rock-solid information that they did not know. You don't need to give out everything, you know, obviously, but just give them, like, a brief overview, okay? Give them enough information to wet their whistle, but it's good information, okay? It's not fluff, but it's good information, okay? And you send it out there, and people will apply to your program every day, okay? And then you'll get to a point where you need to hire a salesperson, a closer, and you don't need to pay them money up front, okay? You can give them 18, 20, 25% of the money that comes in off the sales, okay? So if you sell a $5,000 product, you pay your sales guy 1000 bucks, okay? And it really uh, works in itself. So you guys, that's my fourth and final six-figure business that I've had. I'm 36 years old, and this is it. So um, anyways, I am all tucked out. You guys be blessed. I'm going to reveal who won the free coaching session uh, on tomorrow's broadcast. I thank you for sharing this follow, uh, this uh, scope with your followers. You guys are awesome. Be blessed. And as my Aunt Pam will say, it is benediction time.